everybody, this is Paula with Pilates. Thanks for joining me again today to help you to continue to be a better you. I want to review how to dress for Pilates, something I should have covered in one of the first videos, but that's okay. I want to remind you, or let you know rather, that in Pilates, it is optional for you to wear socks, okay? I always wear socks because my feet tend to get cold. You are welcome to wear socks, but you are definitely suggested or asked to go without socks so that your feet will get a better grip on the mat or on the floor and your palms will be pressed into the mat and you will also feel um, what you need to feel when you're down on your hands and your knees of course okay um, in regards to uh, fitness gear or whatever you want to wear to work out in it is recommended that you wear um, fitted clothing, fitted fitness pants, um, fitted fitness shirt uh, reason being, when you get down on the mat and you get on your back, you definitely want all portions of your body or the bony parts of your part body <laughs> to feel the mat, to feel the floor so that you can do your imprint, so that you can feel your scoop, okay? So just be mindful of that when you are um, getting dressed and getting ready for Pilates with me, okay? So today we're going to go through our workout. I want to remind you of your imprint, pressing your belly button to your spine, your spine to your mat. I want to remind you of your scoop, pulling your belly button in and really rounding when you're on your back and that'll help you to engage your core. I also want to remind you of your breathing, okay? So staccato breathing is that, so those little short breaths that we pull in and blow out. Either way, you want to make sure that you inhale and exhale. All right, I'll cue you to that. All right, let's get started. So on your hands and your knees for cat. Remembering that your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, your feet are bridging the foot down. This is the bridge of my foot. I am putting it down on the mat, and my feet or the soles of my feet are pointed towards my the back wall. Okay, I'm going to be in a flat back position. That means my belly button is parallel with the mat, and now I'm going to pull my belly button in, drop my tailbone down, lengthen my spine. That means allowing air to enter between each vertebrae. And then I'm going to come back to flat back. Okay, so drop your tailbone down, lengthen your spine, round your shoulders, press your palm into the mat, and come back to flat back. Good, let's do that again. So inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, come back to flat back. Again, exhale, round. Inhale to flat back. Make sure your palms are pressed into the mat, your fingers, there's space between each finger. And exhale. And inhale. Good. All right, now we're going to move on to our prone scoop. So that's breathing into your belly for a five count. Taking the breath out of your belly, making your belly flat for a five count. And then holding your belly button tight towards your spine for a five count, okay? So let's try that. So breathe into your belly for five, four, three, two, one. It's nice and round. Now take the air out of your belly for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, belly button tight towards the spine. And now just breathe what we call laterally. So if I were standing over top of you, I could see your rib cages your ribcage opening for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now again, breathe into the belly. Inhale for five. Make it round. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Five, four. Three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. One more, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. One, good, come on down to your back. And make sure that your 
legs come over your hips, arms at your side. Good. Okay. So now we're going to do imprint. So back is pressed into the mat. And we're going to exhale, allowing the heels to hover over the floor, creating the semicircle underneath the back. And exhale, coming back, knees over the hips. Okay? So let's release. Remember, don't lose this 90 degree angle in our knees. And come back up, knees over the hips. Good. And inhale as we lower. Good. Allowing for that semicircle underneath. And exhale. And inhale. Good. Exhale. Might feel a little quiver. That's okay. Again, inhale, and exhale, good, very nice job, go ahead and lower your feet to the mat, and let's do our supine hip rotation, so that's both knees are bent to start, one knee drops off to the side, and we slide that leg away, pinky toe, leading with the pinky toe, then we rotate the ankle or rotate the leg, excuse me, as well as the knee and the hip. And big toe taps the mat or the floor. And then we drag the foot back in, ankle underneath the knee. Same side, same thing. Drop the knee onto the side. Breathe into it as you extend the leg. Rotate till the big toe taps. And return with the ankle underneath the knee. Again, inhale, drop the knee onto the side. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, rotate. And exhale, drag the ankle underneath the knee. One more time on this side, okay? Make sure you're not hunching your shoulders while you're here, but shoulders are down. Drop the knee onto the side, inhale, and breathe into the extension of the leg. Rotate as the big toe taps the mat. And return, bringing the ankle underneath the knee. Now we're going to switch to the other leg. Same thing. Other leg still keeping the imprint, belly button to spine, spine to mat, shoulders down, looking straight up at the ceiling. Inhale as you drop the knee out to the side. Feel a stretch in this hip flexor, okay, right on the inside. And extend the leg. And rotate. And return. And when you rotate, you're trying to get that big toe as far in as possible, okay? Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Drop the knee onto the side. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's try to hold each position for at least one second. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now let's do our alternating leg raises, okay? So inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. Keep your imprint. Lift and lift and lower and lower. Lift, lift, lower and lower. Breathing only. Again, one more time, good, turn over onto your side and let's do our spinal rotation, okay, facing you first, this time, shoulder, push all the way back to the back edge, 
both feet are stacked on top of each other, knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. Make sure that your ankle or your feet aren't kicked too far forward or too far back. You want to make sure that your ankles are right underneath the knees, head down. Oblique is up, so your side closest to the mat, that's up. Hands are stacked. Take that top hand away. Rotate. Give a little space between each finger. Turn your head as you rotate. Really stretch through your fingertips and allow this back hand to hover. Single breath here with our chest open. And bring it to a close on the exhale. Okay? Let's do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale as we close. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Let's turn to the other side, okay? Same thing. Lining up with the back edge of your mat. Bottom shoulder pushed all the way back. Hands are stacked. Taking both knees to a 90 degree angle. Head is down. Okay. Side closest to the mat is up. And you're going to take your top hand away, rotating your head as well as while you rotate. And feeling that twist all throughout the back. Inhale and exhale. Good. So when you rotate, as you're going to do now, inhale, exhale, let me rotate. Notice that my arm, my back arm, and the arm that's rotating does not end up level or in line with my arm that's in front, but it's slightly above my head, and my arm is hovering over the floor, and I'm reaching through my fingertips as well for an additional stretch through my spinal cord, okay? So inhale, exhale, bring it to a close, okay? Just a few reminders. Inhale, last time. Exhale, rotate. Single breath here, inhale and exhale. Very nice job. Come on to your back for hip rolls. So knees are bent, or legs are bent at the knees, arms are down by your side, and they can even rest on the mat. And you're gonna take your hips and you're gonna drive them to the ceiling, lengthening your spine, and trying to make Sure that everything is in line or is in one flat surface on top and then lower down one vertebrae at a time. And if you're not sure what I mean by a flat surface, watch me press this time. So I don't want you here with your butt simply just hovering over the floor, but I want you to drive those hips all the way up and you want to become as flat as possible, okay, or more of an angle, okay, or a slope. And lower down one vertebrae at a time. You're going to feel your glutes contract, okay? Again, inhale here. Exhale, drive those hips up. Keep your feet planted on the mat and your knees hip distance apart. Keep your chin hovering over your chest. All while you're exhaling. Inhale as you lower down. And let's do that one more time. Exhale, drive the hips up. Inhale, head stays down, and you lower down, glutes coming down last. All right, let's do neck lengthening. So you're going to take your chin, and you're going to tuck it, okay, and allow it to touch your chest. Arms stay down. You'll find that your shoulders will automatically drop, and you want to keep your belly button pressed into your spine for your imprint, feet flat on the mat, and you're going to feel the vertebrae in your neck open up, and then you're going to relax. Okay, always looking up at the ceiling. Then you're going to do it again, tucking your chin, allowing your back to press into the mat. When your shoulders drop down, you might find that you inadvertently reach for your heels with your fingertips, and that's okay. Okay, and then relax. 
Now let's add the breathing to it. Let's inhale. Now let's exhale. Tuck your chin. Attempt to look over your chest to your belly button while you're here. And then relax. Inhale when you relax. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Tuck in your chin. Shoulders drop down. Fingertips reach for the heels. Belly button press to the spine. Spine press to the mat. Inhale and relax. Good. Now let's do our scapula exercises or our scapula stretches. Now we're going to stretch. We're going to, excuse me, actually take our shoulders and stretch them up to our earlobes for our progression and regression, okay? So you'll find that your hands will hover over the mat, shrug up, and then you're going to release the shrug. Still hands hovering over the mat, okay? Feet still flat, knees still bent. And shrug. And release the shrug. Okay, so inhale. Now exhale, shrug. Inhale, release the shrug. And exhale, shrug. Inhale, release. And one more, shrug. Inhale, release. Now swing both arms up, fingertips to the ceiling, and we're going to stretch through our fingertips, head remains down, back pressed into the mat, feet planted into the mat, and lower your shoulders back down to the mat as well, okay? So in this exercise, head stays down. The only thing we're doing is reaching through our fingertips to grab that imaginary thing above our heads, okay? So we're going to inhale. And we're going to exhale, we're going to stretch, and we're going to reach through our fingertips. Okay? Arms are parallel. Good. And then lower down. Okay? Let's do that again. Inhale. And exhale. Reach up. Reach through the fingertips. You might find that my exhaling and inhaling are a little bit delayed with my talking. But don't let that delay you. So bring your shoulders back down. One more time. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, lower down. Awesome. Now let's reach behind our head and let's do our arm circles. So our thumb is going to be down, our pinky finger up. We're going to turn our palms out and we're going to circle. And let's do that again. Inhale, reach above our head. Palms are facing each other. Turn our palms out and circle. And one more time, inhale, reach above your head, turn your palms out, see how my arms are hovering over the mat and the floor, and circle. Good. Now our hands are going to be parallel to the mat, and we're going to go for abdominal curls, okay? So this is where we lift our head, lift our shoulders, allow our fingertips to reach for our heels, and then we lower down one vertebrae at a time. And then we do it again. We come on up. Changing our gaze from the ceiling to the wall, to the floor, to the mat, to our belly button. And we lower down one vertebrae at a time. Good. Now we're going to do our breathing. We're trying to squeeze all the air out as we come up. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and lower down. And exhale. Inhale, and lower down. And one more. Exhale. Inhale, and lower down. Great job. All right, let's move into 100, okay? So remember your positions with 100. Your head can remain here on the mat, or it can come up into a C-curl. Your arms are going to remain at your side, bouncing up and down for five counts. Okay? Always up to 100. Legs can be here in a bent knee position. If you want to challenge yourself and continue to grow, come here to a tabletop position. Or you can extend your leg to a 45 degree angle. If you extend your legs, your legs are not here. 
and your legs are not here unless you really want to child stretch yourself even further but right here in the middle okay try to get it there all right so today i'm going to pick the position where my head is down but i am going to have my legs up i'm going to have my arms on my side as you should also and you can pick your head position and your leg position remember to breathe staccatically and exhale the whole time ready let's do it all right here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold your arms and bring your legs in if they're up, lower your feet down and head comes down last. Good job. All right, let's move on to half roll back, okay? That's when we're gonna come to a seated position. Feet, okay, are going to be flat on the mat. Arms are gonna be extended out in front of us. Knees are hip distance apart. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to, today, put our hands on top of our knees for our half roll back, okay? Or you can also grab your knees in front if that's more comfortable to you. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, inhale, then we're going to exhale, sit back. Then we're going to inhale, and we're going to exhale and tuck. And then we're going to inhale and come up to seated. And then we're going to exhale, sit back. Inhale, exhale, tuck or turn over our hips and inhale and come up to seated. Okay, one more time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, hinge. Okay, so try to look for your belly button and then inhale and come up to seated. Okay, let's try that one more time just to make it concrete. So we're grabbing onto the front of our knees today, just for some variety. We're gonna inhale, then we're gonna exhale, pulling our belly button in, sitting back. Then we're gonna inhale, exhale, hinge. Okay, so without taking the scoop out, we're reaching forward, turning our hips over, and then we're gonna come inhale and sit up nice and tall. Now let's roll all the way back, and let's do our full roll up, okay? Legs are gonna be extended today. Toes are going to be pointing towards the, pointing away from us, okay, away from the belly button, and our arms are going to be above our head, thumb down, pinky finger up. We're then going to inhale, bring our arms to the outside of our chest. We're going to exhale, remember that big breath out, coming up to seated. Notice that my toes start to point up towards the ceiling, and then I'm going to recline back. And as I recline back, my toes are going to go back to their start position and point away. Arms returning to start. Okay? So the movements are arms come up first. Then we lift our head and our shoulders and we come up to seated as well as our toes point up towards the ceiling. We then pull our belly button in, rounding our back and lowering down on the mat ever so gently while our toes points point away and our arms come back above our head. Okay, let's do it with the breathing. So inhale and exhale. Sitting up nice and tall and lower down. Inhale as you lower. Good. And inhale, arms come up. Exhale. Arms stick out in front. Inhale, lower back. Good. Exhale a little, 
Inhale to restart. Exhale. Good. And lower back, one vertebrae at a time. Point your toes away. Good. One more time. And make sure your legs aren't coming up off the floor and you're not putting your elbows down on the mat. But use your breath from your diaphragm, okay? So inhale. Big inhale. Then to come up, you're going to go, you're going to blow like a big bad wolf. Okay? Sit up nice and tall. And then lower down one vertebrae at a time. All right? All right. Go ahead and bend your legs at the knees. Grab behind your knees and come to a seated position. And we're going to do rolling like a ball. Okay? Remember that one? We brought our legs tight underneath us. We brought our hands underneath, excuse me, on the outside of our ankles. We tucked our head. And we got really tight. And then we lifted our heels up, toes tap the mat, or you can grab behind your knees. And we inhaled and roll back. Exhale, rolled up. Remember that? All right, let's do that again. Look for your belly button, get nice and tight. Inhale, exhale. Let's do that one more time. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Inhale, exhale. Good job. All right, let's do our spine twist, okay? So I'm gonna face you today and do spine twist. And I'm also going to extend my legs out. So in spine twist before, we sat crisscross applesauce. We had our arms extended out to the side or perhaps bent at the elbows, like our genie hands. And you can do either today with your hands. It's okay with me. But for legs today, I definitely want you to have your feet extended or your legs extended and your feet together, okay? Because I want to show you what you should not do when you do this twist. When you twist, you should not have your feet pass each other as you're twisting, okay? So you should not see this in your twist, okay? You should not see that. See how my feet were moving? Instead, what you should see when you twist, because you're gonna squeeze your thighs together, you're gonna lock your knees together, and you're gonna squeeze your calves together, okay? Then you should see more of this. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, back to center, okay? You locking all these parts helps your hips to remain steady and firm on the mat, okay? But if you don't lock these parts, then you will see that movement in your feet, and we don't want that, okay? All right, so have your arms out to the side. Make sure your shoulders are down, you're nice and relaxed, thumb up, pinky finger down, and you're gonna take a big inhale, and you're gonna exhale for three, two, one, and big inhale back to center, okay? The other thing you don't see me doing is this, three, two, one, but then this arm doesn't move. So let's practice that, all right? All together. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back to center. Turn your head with your movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back to center. Good, let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. Come back to center. Good, let's do the other side. Inhale and one more set. Inhale, exhale. And inhale. And let's finish it out. Inhale and back to center. Good job, y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down on our mat for single leg circles. That's the one where we had one leg extended into the air, arms at our side, shoulders down. Knee of one leg is bent. Our imaginary clock is on the ceiling. We're gonna go clockwise for a time, then counterclockwise before we switch legs, okay? Remembering to inhale and exhale when I tell you, or when I remind you, but either way you should be doing it. So, let's get ready to move clockwise. Here we go, so circle and circle. So when the knees are closer together, you inhale. When the knees
knees are farther apart, you exhale. For me, it's inhale, exhale. Well, for you, it might be exhale, inhale. Okay? You can also put a little bend in your knee as you allow the hips to do the rotation, okay? Four more on this side. Three more in this direction on this side. Two. And one more. Finish out that circle. Bring the leg to center. Good. Now let's move in the opposite direction counterclockwise. So I'm going to inhale first. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Opposite direction counterclockwise. Same leg. Still remembering that you can still put the bend in the knee. Rotate through the hip. Okay, four more, and three, and two, and one more. Good, let's switch the legs out. So opposite leg comes up, and clock is imagined on the ceiling, and let's move clockwise. Inhale, exhale, knees closer together, inhale. Knees farther apart, exhale. Bent knee, okay, does not wobble. It's nice and firm. If you find that you have a lot of wobble, press the sole of your foot into the mat. Four more. Three. Two, and one, leg comes to center, counterclockwise motion, and here we go. So slower circles are a little bit easier, faster, bigger circles are a little bit harder. So you pick how you're going to challenge yourself today. You have five more, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in, lower the foot down, and let's get ready for a single leg stretch. That's with our legs up at tabletop, both hands on the outside of our legs, and we're gonna lift our head today in a C curl. When one knee comes in, both hands support that leg, one hand underneath the foot, one hand on top of the knee, and we pull it in, and we extend the opposite leg, okay? Then the knees come together on an inhale, and then we switch the legs out on an exhale. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then at this point, feel free to speed it up without losing your good form. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good, the knees come back to center together, and then we're gonna do scissors. So extend both legs up, and we're gonna grab behind one calf, and pull it close to our chest for one, two, opposite leg falls away. Switch, one, two. Then as they pass each other, you inhale, come close to the chest, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Three. Two. Good. 
to our, cr our cross, our X um, crunch, okay? So, legs are a tabletop, arms are gonna come across the chest. The reason I ask you to put your arms across the chest instead of behind your head is sometimes when we're in a twisting motion, we tend to pull on our neck in the direction that we're going, and I want no injuries, no neck injuries, okay? So, if we put our arms across the chest, we take that, you know, pulling of the neck out of the equation. Now, we're gonna keep with the legs from the single leg stretch, and now we're gonna add the upper body twist to make it the twist. So, starting looking up at the ceiling, we're gonna extend right leg away, lift the left shoulder to meet the left knee. I'm seeing right shoulder to meet the right, the left knee. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee, okay? Inhale, knees together. Exhale, twist over the shoulder, looking over the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, see how the knees come right back together at the tabletop. Let's do two more sets. Last set. Inhale, last leg. Good, and lower down and lower your feet down. Okay, now we're gonna go into our double leg stretch. So, fingertips are gonna be at our temples. Arm motion is extend above the head, turn the palms out, and circle. If it looks familiar, that's because it is. All it is is an arm circle, okay? Legs, however, are gonna be similar, but not the same, okay? So for the legs, our legs start here at the tabletop. They get extended. And instead of circling like the arms, they simply come back to their start position. So not here too close to the chest, but here holding their own over our hips, okay? All right, so this is the leg, out, in. These are the arms, out, or excuse me, up, and circle. If you find that you prefer to do just the arms, then just do the arms with your legs at tabletop. If you prefer to just do the legs with your arms at your side, then just do the legs, okay? Totally fine. I'm going to show you both, all right? You ready to see both? Double leg stretch, do it with me, or do your version of it, okay? So here we go. Inhale, arms up above the head. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay? Inhale, arms up, legs out, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good, lower your legs out, not too bad, right? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn over and do something called a single leg kick, okay? So turn over into your tummy, and we're gonna press our pelvis into the mat, we're gonna take our feet, put them bridge of the foot down, our arms, elbow underneath the shoulder, and our arms are gonna be, or our forearms are gonna be chest width apart, shoulder width apart. All right, notice that my pinky finger down and my thumb is up. Reason being, I don't wanna press my hands down into the mat. I want to make sure that my shoulders are holding their own. All right, so single leg kick. It is two kicks on one leg, once with the toes pointed, once with the toes tucked, okay? And with our chest staying up, our pelvis gets pressed into the mat. Notice that I have an extra squeeze into my glute when I do it, when I press my pelvis into the mat, as you should too, okay? I may be looking at the camera, but you should always be looking at your mat to keep your spine in alignment, okay? So here's the kick. It is my toes pointed first for a kick halfway, then a kick all the way. You'll feel a nice stretch in the front of your thigh of the kicking leg. Okay, that's your quad muscle. And then it's one kick down. 
Then I'm going to tuck the toes of the same foot and I'm going to kick, kick, getting my heel as close to my glute as possible. And then one kick down. Okay? Then I'm going to untuck and repeat. Okay? So again, it looks like this. Kick, kick, toes pointed. One kick down. Toes tuck. Kick, kick. And lower down. Okay? Now for the breathing. Okay? So with my toes pointed, I am inhaling, inhaling. One exhale. Toes tuck. Inhale. Inhale, one exhale. Okay? Notice my toes came down tucked, and then I untucked to prepare for the next set. All right? Let's do that one more time. So press your pelvis to the mat, squeeze your glutes, and inhale, inhale, exhale. Tuck your toes, inhale, inhale, exhale. Okay? Let's do the other foot. Press your pelvis to the mat, look down at your mat, and listen for my cues, and let's do it together. Ready? Inhale, inhale, exhale. Tuck your toes, inhale, inhale, exhale. Untuck, inhale, inhale, exhale. Tuck, inhale, inhale, exhale. Untuck. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Tuck your toes. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Last set. Toes pointed. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Tuck your toes. Inhale, inhale, and exhale and lower. Now be mindful when I did this. My knee did not come up off the mat, okay? It's me simply pushing my heel close towards my glute, all right? All right, good job. So let's move on to our brush stroke. So with our brush stroke, all we're going to do is slide our elbows in. Hands are going to be flat on the mat. We're going to look down at our mat, okay? Space between our fingers. Feet are going to be bridge of the foot down, okay? Or we call it plantar flex of the ankle. And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, stretch your arms up, exhale, and round. That's it. Then we're going to round our arms up and exhale again. Okay. Inhale, circle up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Like you're flying, okay? Inhale, arms come up, reach through your fingertips, exhale, okay, again, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, good, all right, go ahead and place your hands um, by your side, but also go ahead and overlap your forearms. So like your genie arms, and go ahead and bend your legs at the knees, heels of your feet together, toes sticking out, okay? We're going to do heel squeezes. So for this, your forehead is going to be down, and you're simply only, simply and only going to squeeze your heels together, okay? You'll know you're squeezing because you'll feel your glutes contract, you'll feel the muscles in the back of your leg get stiff, um, or get tight, not stiff, but get tight. So you'll know you're doing it just right. You're going to press your pelvis into the mat as well. All right? So head is down, squeezing your heels together, and then you're going to release. And squeeze and release. Just the heels. Squeeze, knees stay on the floor, on the mat, and release. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release. One more. Squeeze. And release. Good. Lower your feet down, tucking your toes. Bring your hands to the outside of your chest. And I want you to push up. 
and sit back for shell stretch. This is with your forehead on the mat. You're then gonna round your arms and you're gonna round your back and exhale, okay? Feeling a stretch in the top of your shoulders because your arms are gonna be at your side and being able to look straight between your feet. Inhale, lower down. And exhale, round. Top of the head is on the mat. Inhale, lower. And exhale, round. Inhale, lower. Good, one more. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower, and go ahead and lift yourself up or come up to a seated position and untuck your legs, bringing them out in front of you to a V position. Make sure that your legs are no wider than your mat. You're going to sit up nice and tall, and we're going to do our seated spine stretch, okay? So, hands coming between your, between your knees, and you're just going to glide your fingertips forward, pulling your belly button in and reaching as far forward as possible. Inhale, and come up to seated, okay? And exhale, reach forward. Pulling your belly button in, and you go down, inhale, come out of your round. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders come down to restart. Last time, okay, inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And come up to seated. Nice. Now let's do our single leg kicks with variations, okay? So this is a series of about five exercises. We're going to start off with two today. And then as we go on throughout the weeks, we'll add on more onto those, okay? So you're going to come into that side lying position. Remember, when you push your shoulder all the way to the back edge of your mat. And instead of having your arm outstretched here in front of you, you're now going to have it up by your ear, okay? You're then going to take both of your feet, kick them to the opposite corner of your mat. And you're going to take this arm that's free, and you're going to put it right in front of your chest and use it as a border, okay? The first of two exercises we're going to do today is the abductor, okay? So that's your top leg lifting up and lowering down, okay? That's it. So you're going to lift up the top leg, and you're going to lower it down. And again, up and down, and two more. Inhale. Exhale, and one more. Inhale, exhale. Good. The other one we're going to do is called the kick, okay? You're going to then take that same top leg, and with your toes pointed, you're going to kick halfway, and then all the way, and then flex your foot, and return with the heel, okay? So point your toe, kick halfway, then kick again all the way, and then flex your foot, and return with the heel, okay? Again, inhale, inhale, exhale and return. Kick, kick, and return. One more with the breathing. Inhale, inhale, exhale, okay? Now go ahead and switch yourself to the other side so we can do the same thing on the opposite side. Remember, light up with the back edge of your mat. Other arm is right in front. Both feet get kicked to the opposite corner, okay? And added bonus, don't forget to give a little rotation, okay, to your bottom glute, okay? That doesn't mean that your legs are apart. Your legs are still stacked, but that'll help you with your balance on these exercises, okay? So let's do the abductor first. Lift the top leg, lower the top leg. Lift the top leg, lower the top leg. Inhale, go up, exhale, come down. Inhale up, exhale down, 
One more. Inhale up and exhale down. Now let's kick, okay? So toes pointing, kick, kick, and return, okay? Kick, kick, and return. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Good. All right, let's come up to seated and let's do something extra fun today. It's called seal. Okay, so remember I said that you have to have a big breath to roll up and roll out of some of the positions we're in. Well, you're definitely going to need that right now, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take, let's start in this way. Take your knees to a bent knee position or your legs to a bent knee position. Put your hands in between your knees and then open them up. Okay, you'll notice that you then have a bit of a diamond shape or a rhombus shape with your, with your legs, toes, both of your feet are pointed forward, knees are out to the side, and your glutes are sitting down on the mat. You're then going to take both of your hands and you're going to thread them through. So they come on the inside and you grab your ankles on the outside. Okay, and what you're going to do is you are going to draw your feet close to you. Okay. Rounding your back while you're here, and you're going to pull your belly button in, roll backwards, and as you come up, you're going to clap, okay, just one time, and you can watch me do it first, and then we can all laugh together, virtually, okay, so here we go, legs come up, you're rounding your back, pull your belly button in, inhale as you roll back, clap, roll up, okay, try it with me. Roll back, clap, roll up, okay? If you find your feet fall, that's fine. That's okay, all right? Let's try it again. So feet come up, pull your belly button in, roll back, clap, roll up. Now you're wondering, how do I come up? It's that exhale, that big breath out, okay? So lift your feet up, pull your belly button in, inhale, exhale. If the clap is too much for you at this moment, it's too much to keep up with um, when you're rolling back and concentrating on rolling up, that's okay. Throw the clap to the side and simply inhale, exhale, okay? Inhale, exhale, all right? And one more with the clap. Inhale, clap, exhale. Good job. Great job today. Let's do our three inhales and our three exhales, okay? So, inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. I want to thank you for joining me, Paula, for another set of Pilates. You're doing a great job, and I want you to continue to be a better you. See you next time.